Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timmy Trico, also known as Horror Fan for Life. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing uh, three movies, just some quick reviews. <clears throat> With that, let's get right into them here. The first movie, The Blood of Satan's Claw. Uh, I didn't know whether this was this would be a comedy horror film. I, I don't know what was going on here. Uh, it did receive high praise on Rotten Tomatoes, but uh, to me, I, I was really mixed with this movie. Uh, the, the characters were subpar. Uh, it wasn't all that scary, and it was just a goofy-ass movie to me. So I was mixed with it. Uh, I gave it a 5 out of 10. Uh, nothing else really to say about it. I... I don't know. Something I, I won't revisit. The next movie is The Hound of the Bakersfields. Um, this one uh, was decent. A lot better than the previous movie I just mentioned. Uh, but overall, I enjoyed the characters, the story, the direction. Uh, but it's probably a one and done for me. It's not something that I would revisit. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. And then the final movie, Asylum. Uh, this is from 2008. Uh, I like the story. Uh, I like the killer in the movie. But of course, we all have that one character in the movie that's an asshole. And... If you guys don't know who Travis Van Winkle is, he is notorious for being an asshole in the movies in the 2000s. Uh, most notably Transformers, uh, now Asylum, and then of course the Friday the 13th remake in 2009. Um, I call him the asshole of the 2000s, like I call William Zabka the asshole of the 80s. Not him personally, but the characters he played uh, in that decade. Same goes for Travis Van Winkle. But uh, this movie was really good as well. Uh, it uh, it was kind of cheesy, uh, but I did enjoy it. So I, I do recommend you check out Asylum. Uh, and I do recommend you check out the Hounds of uh, Bakersville. Uh, I gave both of, I'm going to give both those movies a seven out of ten. And like I said, the first movie, The Blood on Satan's Claw, uh, that's at your own discretion. Check it out if you'd like. But for me, again, that's that's a one and done. I definitely won't revisit that one. Of the three movies that I would revisit, it would be Asylum. Uh, but the three, they're nothing to write home about. I definitely wouldn't purchase them. Uh, but I would revisit Asylum if I found it for free uh, somewhere. Uh, like I did on my Stars channel. Uh, other than that, if you've seen the movies, give me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And of the three, which one is your favorite? And I mentioned uh, Travis Van Winkle and the three movies that he's notorious for being a asshole in as far as his character goes. Asylum, Transformers, and the Friday the 13th remake. Which one is he the biggest douche in uh, as far as his character goes? For me, it's Friday the 13th. But let me know in the comment section below. And as always, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And hit that notification bell. And if you like this uh, video, hit that like button. And uh, share this video on your social media as you see fit to. I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for many more movie reviews, TV show reviews, trailer reviews, top tens, and rankings. And if you have any suggestions for movie reviews or any movie content, leave it in the comment section below of any video. And I will definitely get that uh, out as soon as possible. I still have one more for Sean McIntosh. I believe it is uh, Dragon Slayer. 
So as soon as I get that, Sean, I will definitely get that out to you as well. And uh, don't forget to check out his channel, Sean McIntosh. But thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.